Hi, my YouTube friends. Uh, my name is Auxi and here is a um, small uh, talks uh, about life channel and here I'm talking about any type of subject that uh, comes across my mind and today I want to share my experience about um, like uh, just I would like to recommend everybody to do the same as I did just for your own sake that would be a food intolerance test so in my case uh, it helped me with my rosacea that would mean uh, I used to have a red skin very sensitive skin and it would come out with the red bumps so after uh, I discovered food in uh, you know food intolerance <clears throat> it just helped me you know to get rid of this problem completely and also it did help me to lose weight so I will just start uh, the story from the beginning so um, first of all uh, I the price of this test uh, costed for me like 250 euro it's quite expensive I wonder if you would be able to find cheaper than that uh, there is big difference between food intolerance and allergy uh, food intolerance is when you don't notice uh, for a long time symptoms, but they would, uh, you know, uh, there would be some kind of uh, issues, major issues uh, after many, many years if you still continue eating those products. So anyway, my uh, intolerance was about eggs, milk, um, bread, products, gluten, of course, and then peas and... And some other ones uh, which I don't remember at the moment and basically once I managed to get rid of them which was quite difficult because you know uh, I couldn't eat bread I couldn't eat cheese I couldn't eat like any milk products luckily I was able to eat uh, meat you know still and all the vegetables were fine so once I got rid of the bad things I I noticed that in one month I think my uh, you know I lost three kilogram immediately which uh, wasn't happening once I was keeping diets you know or something like that so I guess it's easier t for the body you know to lose weight once you get rid of the you know products that cause you intolerance and also it helped me with rosacea as i said so probably you know my rosacea more likely is caused by uh, certain foods uh, by the way i am also intolerant to yeast products so i am not able to eat anything that is fermented so i uh, would say i you know uh, i would really encourage you to experiment in life you know even though you might think oh better not to know you know what things uh, I'm not able to eat but uh, you know once you know it it's kind of it's gonna help you in in, in life you know and I would uh, I'm very positive about this idea and I recommend you to do that as well and I would be so curious to know like how's it going for people who you know already discovered their intolerance and how do you deal for example you know what type of snacks uh, you are having because if you get rid of uh, many things you know eggs many things kind of there's not much left what to eat me myself you know i'm only eating uh, chocolate as a snack at the moment but i see the possibilities to find some other things i would uh, most likely will make some videos about how to make certain snacks as well and if you are interested in that uh, please subscribe and i really would like you to share your opinion as well about how's it going you know like just it's so good for people to know about it and thank you so much for your time i will see you soon my name is auxe bye bye